G'day and welcome to the Guy Who Sews channel. My name is Sean and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make one of these bowl cozies. These are super simple, super easy, beginner friendly and you just take a few pieces of fabric and some batting and turn it into one of these wonderful things. They're great for holding bowls for your soup, for stews and also in the summertime for your ice cream as well. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll show you how to make it. The playlist you need for this project is fairly easy. First of all, you just need two pieces of fabric that are 10 inches by 10 inches and you can mix or match. I like to mix. Also, then two pieces of, of batting that are 9.5 by 9.5. You will notice this is a little bit smaller than the fabric and that is make it easier when we go ahead and stitch around the edges. The next thing you'll need is um, a pair of scissors and also a pen or another sort of marking tool to mark your fabric and then just some thread and your trusty old sewing machine unless you want to hand stitch it. Now one thing to note is if you plan on putting these into the microwave when you're heating up your bowls, everything has to be cotton. So um, your batting has to be cotton with no scrim, your fabric has to be cotton, and also your thread. So if you're not sure, don't put it in the microwave would be my suggestion. So your first step is to lay down your piece of batting on top of the piece of fabric and make sure that the right side is facing down. And then grab your ruler and then if you have a Sharpie or a really good marking tool, that is best, and you're going to go ahead and draw a line from one edge to the opposite edge, and then you'll do the other way as well, so you end up having a nice big X. And you'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other piece. A regular pen will also work, it's a lot fainter, so use what you have. Don't. I wouldn't go out and buy a special thing. I mean, you can see the pen line there pretty well. And it doesn't actually mark up the ruler as bad as a sharpie. So now it is time we're going to go ahead and sew along the lines we just drew on both pieces of fabric. So now you should have a nice big X sewn on both pieces of fabric. Your next step is to go to have the right sides together. So we'll show you this way. We're going to fold it in half. And then we're going to measure one inch from this edge here. From here to here and then two inches down we're going to draw a line like this and I'm going to show you more detail right now. So I like to lay mine down and what I normally do is I measure two inches from the top and I put a little mark and then I go one inch from the over here and then I get my handy dandy ruler and just draw a quick line. After you do this a few times you can probably just use the dot to dot and then just mark you know eyeball it but yeah, for your first go, do it this way, and then do the same thing down the bottom. Two inches from the bottom, one inch from the side, and draw your little line. So now you should have this marking right here, and that's what you go to sew along. Same deal over here. And do that same thing for the other piece of fabric as well. Now we're just going to go ahead and sew down the over the lines we just drew on both pieces of fabric. You have the lines sewn down here, in here on both pieces, and once you're happy with that, go ahead and cut off the excess, leave about a quarter inch seam allowance. I just eyeball it, I usually don't measure it, I mean as long as you're close you're good. Do that for the other one as well. And then what we're going to do next is open it back up and we're going to flip it, fold it the other way. So your sewn pieces are now in the middle. And we're going to do exactly the same thing again. So again, just lay it down, go two inches from the top, put a mark, one inch from this, from there, grab your ruler. And draw your line and just be careful with this part because now there's a this part over here it's kind of bumpy it can get bunched up so just make sure that your fabric is laying nice and flat and then go ahead and do it down the bottom here as well and as before we'll sew along this line that we just drew on all the pieces of fabric so it should be sewn here and here on both pieces just like before and then once you're happy go ahead and trim your quarter inch seam allowance. So once you've trimmed the excess off, you should have both pieces looking just like so. And so now what we're going to do is put the right sides together, 
we can have like one big old sandwich. So what I what I do is I push one of them inside out, and so that way it can nest inside of this one. Oh, like so, nice and easy. So now it is time to use your clips and go ahead and pin this down or clip it down as you see fit. Use as many or as little as you need. I like to use about eight. I like to do each corner and then in the middle as well. But if you need more, more clips or you feel like you can get away with less, go for it. Now we go to sew a quarter inch all the way, well, most of the way around. I usually pick a starting point somewhere in the middle and I go all the way around, but then I stop and leave about this much because what we got to do once this is done is we got to flip it all out to that little hole. So if you make the hole too small, it's going to make it really hard for you in the long run. So I would leave the space between here and you know, here and here just to be on the safe side. We got to sew a quarter inch all the way around except for that little hole that I just mentioned earlier so we can flip it out once we're done. It should be sewn all the way around except for that one little hole that we spoke about. And so now we got to find where I put that. Oh, there it is. And we got to go ahead and just push everything out so that way now it looks the right way. One side and the other. And so you're just going to have this part here left open. And so what I do is you can hand stitch it with a blind hem or whatever they call it. But what I do is I just fold it over and I'll try and show you the best of my abilities, which basically I just fold the edges over in a little bit. And then I just sew it down. So now I'm just going to sew down fairly close to the edge where the hole was. And so this is what the end product looks like if you do if you machine stitch it like I just showed you where the hole was. I mean, it really doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's a functional product. Um, and then this is it. You have your very own bowl cozy. It's very much reversible. And you can have the pretty print on the outside or the inside, whatever you want to do. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, definitely leave a comment um, and let me know what you thought of the tutorial. And share with a friend. And that way we can all make bowl cozies because they make wonderful gifts. And if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm always more than happy to help you out with um, any concerns that you may have. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Like and share with friends if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day and happy sewing. Bye.